When the Eagles lost to to uh Deepest to crazy. Arizona, when they was whooping and they was getting their ass up, he was from there for the TV. <laughs> I laugh for I laugh for three hours. I'm gonna say it cost me. I don't know that stretch killed you. I know. But, but how much that I was remember I had I had the parlay and I had that Eagles and Chiefs game. Yeah, and I had the Eagles money line. They was favored by 11 points. I had the money line. I won my whole parlay. I'm just waiting on the Eagles money line. I'm like, they get Arizona. They should have blew Arizona out. That shit cost me like eight thousand, man. Damn. I was mad as shit, man. No, I seen it. That they supposed to beat them. I seen it, motherfucker. Then when I went to talk to the players in the locker room after the game, I cussed that Quez Watkins the fuck out. What was he, he saying? Though? He that motherfucker going DM me, damn dog. Like, how you gonna do that to me? You know, if I was given an opportunity, I'll... no, that wasn't the that wasn't the Arizona. You talking about Tampa? You talking about the last game? The last, the yeah. playoff. They lost to them in the playoffs. To Tampa Bay, yeah. Damn. Oh uh, yeah, you so said you, you was just played the whole game. game. What you mean if you get was an given opportunity? an opportunity? You just played the whole game. You talking? He gotta get out of here. He like, yeah. you gotta go. You gotta go, man. No, because I looked at in his eyes, man. In that motherfucking locker room, bro. I kept it. I couldn't keep it no realer. I said, bro, you know I'm a, the number one Eagles fan. He said, yeah. I said, I read every article, bro. At the beginning of the year, you said this was your year. It wasn't. <laughs> bro, this is what I told him. I said, it wasn't. I said, but good players is made in the regular season. Legends is made in the playoffs. Yeah. You can write everything right, right now. Yeah. AJ Brown is out. We need you to step the f up right now. Yeah. None of that prior sh don't matter. Yeah. You become a legend right now in these playoffs. Yeah. You got fired up. That I got you. I said, dog, don't tell me you got me. Get me, man. No, no, I got you, OG. Man, I had two catches for eight yards. Man. <laughs> get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. You gone, man. That's two catches. That's right. Devontae Smith then had 200 yards receiving. You ain't get that nigga no help. No, he done did everything. Motherfucker catching passes over eight years and shit. I'm going to the playoffs. I'll tell you where you do it. Who is it? The Bears. The Bears. Oh, oh, from Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I ain't been shit since 85. No, nah, we was good a couple. We was good in 2018. <laughs> I think we play y'all next year, too. <laughs> Easy way. Nah, all right. We can put a little something on it. You don't want to do that. You can put a little something on it. You just feel like giving away, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he just want to. So we got buddy, man. I need a little something. We can put a little something. We can put a little something. I'll put a little pocket change. Yeah, we can put a little something on it. If they play out here, I come out. We can go to the game. Yeah. Oh, we ain't seeing nothing. We can go to the game. What you see? See, this is your closest person. <laughs> <laughs> we can go to the game. Y'all get in Field. He's going man, to the whole night. He's going to um, Pittsburgh. I hope not. Then y'all start moving with a new rookie. Now, if we do that, I ain't bad. <laughs> if we get Caleb Williams, I'm not bad. That nigga nice. <laughs> you think he gonna be the real deal? That nigga nice. I don't know, man. That nigga look like he gonna be a, a turnover machine, bro. What's wrong with Jalen Hurst, though? Nothing. We lost our offensive coordinator. Yeah, we just wasn't gotta do. Yeah, but he got soft in the second half of that year. He was hurt. What was wrong with him? The way his knee was fucked up. He got break. shit to his arm. Yeah, well, you get shit off from here, man. <laughs> you see Dak warming up. Nigga, <laughs> Dak ain't, that's why Dak ain't seen that doing the damn warm up. Fuck part of warming up is this. <laughs> Dak, you know what I'm doing? Dak, what the f is she doing, man? <laughs> Hell no. Now that's funny when you had, uh, well, what's the name? When D-Young pulled up on you, you they was playing Buffalo, that n***a yeah, yeah. was like, uh, come on, you big monster, n***a. Yeah, big monster. <laughs> hey, yo, ass. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The f did you just say? <laughs> Running up in there, big monster. Man, I be kicking his ass and mad. Yo, he, I know. I just, I just grinded him up the other day. He's, he's this nigga just on the phone talking about some. I'll be, I'll be Gil by three. He but, said Gil, alright. But, I, but that was my first time playing. See, that's what when he beat me the other night. He, we played three games that night. The first game he beat me. I'm like, bro, why ain't played in two weeks? The next two games I beat him. Then he like. No, nah, I just started changing. No, nah, you was really a bum. Like, I, you just won that game. I ain't been playing this shit. But he, he. Like, all he played to, to do bad one time. One time, oh. And he beat you. By three. Because bad don't ever change, bro. No, I, I was a bad god. Yeah. You gotta understand. Nobody, nobody. I don't give a fuck who yeah, you beat you man. I booked Tug ass in, man. And Deshaun Jackson. That's back during the pandemic when I was playing though. Yeah. See, well, really, really I learned how to play Madden with Cash Money. Cash Money is the greatest n to ever play Madden in their life. Is it no one cat? Is it a named Cedar? Mm hmm No fing body can't beat this n man. I don't give a fuck who you is, bro. Nobody can't beat this n man. I seen there watch that nigga beat Nelly. And his people got a load of money. Jermaine Dupree and his a uh, load of money. I'm talking about Dad call up six minutes. All right, hold on. Call up Ron Ron. Nobody could be low Ron Ron. Then come through. 25,000. See, don't get right out of there. Call up Black Black. They don't, I don't give a fuck who you, you call up. 25,000. Yeah, I can't. Hey, nigga, that nigga Jermaine Dupree. That Jermaine Dupree walked in the back of that motherfucker. So so deaf studio so many times I thought he had a motherfucking vault back here. <laughs> See I got a vault back. Let me go to the back. Damn. No, I can't. Twenty five. Me and me and the young play for like fifteen hundred. And the game almost fucked me over. This threw a hail mary pass. And you and they called pass like he threw that bitch from a ten yard line to the other end. And they called pass and the parents put him in field goal range. He kicked the field goal, he gonna win. The nigga missed the field goal. We played for 1500. If he'd have made that field goal, I swear to God, I'd never play Madden again. I'd have never played that shit again. Nigga threw a Hail Mary up there, bro. This shit went down to like probably the other 20 yard line. And they called pass interference because there's a bunch of niggas right there, bro, trying to catch the ball, put him in the field goal, right? And the nigga was so excited, he got to talk the shit. He got to talk the shit on the thing and missed the motherfucker. Missed the 20 yards, what, 30 yard field goal. 1500. That nigga was mad. Him and his girl got to, I want to call him. His cash out wasn't working, so he had to tell his girl to send me the money, uh, so he going to roll him. Send me those dollars She was like, for what? What the fuck you mean? For what? Nigga, this nigga just going off. You know, you know the bitch should be doing with the bitches. That should be real, man. No, oh, that's real. I try to do real shit, man. I, I be trying to do shit that I know niggas is going to be able to relate to. People be going fluid over these bitches. Yeah. Yeah, they be telling me as fuck. It's wicked out here. Yeah. A bitch will fuck you over out here, man. You be done. If a bitch will fuck, if a nigga not mentally strong, man. Oh yeah. A bitch will fuck a nigga over, man. That pussy powerful, man. Powerful. The DMs I be getting to this day, that shit be ridiculous, man. You be giving the game though. Oh gee, man. Go my woman fucking with my cousin, man. What, hey. This shit be crazy. I'm like, what you think I should do? Like, talk to you. Fuck you, cousin. What you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, it's time for you to move out. But you know what the big though? These hoes be taking care of like this, nigga. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, it, that's, I just seen you pulling up. I was on it. I said, that shit jumping. It's going. Down, we get in the top ten. It's over. Independent in the top ten? Come on, bro. It's going down. Listen, I need take Independent of the top ten, <laughs> and then you hit him with the sympathy joint. If you don't do nothing for me, for being out of jail for seven years, here, yeah, bro, shit ain't got nothing to do with the music. Hell, bro, you never worked the same thing, bro. Ain't that shit? You don't need to try to get it. You don't do nothing for me for being out of jail for seven years, wait, what the f? You supposed to say, give me some pussy. He told me, stream my, stream my little cousin shit. <laughs> I, mean, I just came up out, you know. I know. But, but you were thinking, 
when we said it. That's what seven years for you. If you don't do nothing, slide up on me, suck this dick, and give a ball. You know? <laughs> This is my seven year anniversary of being home. He said that's his fight, that's what that's his gift. That's my gift. It's stream my little cousin shit. You know we about that buddy anyway. And hey, why you let Cam say he your cars wasn't no classes, bro? Minivan. Cam wanted that minivan. He was trying to buy that motherfucker. <laughs> what time you leave today, Doug? I'm leaving tomorrow at one. Oh, oh, you leave tomorrow. Bro. Yeah, I changed the shit. I'm going to Miami. You ain't gonna creep. You coming? He got some Philly ass and he think he's slick. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I had a last night. I can't tell you something. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by none other than New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, um, life ain't going your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. Uh, you caught your woman cheating today. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming, but it didn't come your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. Just got off of work and you had a hard work at the job today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka because nothing will cheer you up like a good shot on the rocks or maybe with juice and soda or maybe just a classic New Amsterdam mule when you get home. Like New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. So when you're out and about at your local liquor store, you know what to do. Ah, oh, oh, scoop it up. Ah, get to the counter. Boop, ah, throw it in a bag, get home, and throw it in a glass. New Amsterdam vodka. Why would you choose any vodka other than New Amsterdam? Right. This episode of the Million Dollars Perfect Game is brought to you by DraftKings, the best sports book around. Now, the 82 game preseason is in the books. Now it's time for the real season, the playoffs. Don't miss out on any NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the playing tournament through the finals, from every opening tip to every buzzer beater, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same game parlays, live betting, odd boosts, and so much more. And if you're New to this whole sports betting thing, it's super easy to get started. Try betting on something simple like what team's going to win. Go to the app, select your team, and place your first bet. It's that simple. And here's something else to sweeten the deal for all the new customers. Bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Bet $5 and get 200 in dollars and bonus bet instantly new customers download DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Gilly I'm giving you time to pull out your phone start downloading use code Gilly code Gilly for two hundred dollars in bonus bets when you bet just five dollars on DraftKings Sportsbook the crown is yours right only thing we did you kiss it with your eyes closed I mean, I mean, kissing with your eyes open is some, that's a maniac. <laughs> like, the fuck he is love, he in love, he in love. You in love. You know the fuck is he looking for? He love. So that's how he kiss his bitches. Right. <laughs> it's like he is a bitch. Like a bitch when I turn into something else. You need to let him know. Like, like this, I see him. I watch you, bitch. You gotta let him know. I'm watching you, even when you sleep, you hey. better. That's what you gotta tell no, him. No, let me tell you, let me tell you what he did. Right here, one bitch, right? Right here, one chick, right? They just drive the one day. Yeah. He just pulled up to a motherfucking forest. He just said, just stop, right? He's like, look at that out there. She like, what? He like, see that out there? She like, see what? He like that out there. She like, the trees. What? He like, no. That's where the fuck you gonna be at. You play with me. He like, stop. He like, he like. He lied on that. Love. And that's the fuck you gonna be at. Look, they pulled off. I believe it though. I believe that shit. What car you was in? You was in a minivan? Mini <laughs> yeah. That minivan. You was in a minivan? Yeah, that's what's up. I ain't do that though. <laughs> she put that motherfucker on you got you talking like that. Well, I came home, man, this one girl, man. Oh, it's changed my life. Dang. Another AK bullet and a brick on my nanny step, man. Damn. So that nigga, she gonna put some leg warmers on. If you call a girl, right? You know when you 
If you call a girl, you willing to call a girl five, six, seven times and she don't answer and keep calling back? She the real deal. Yeah. And you was calling like that? I was looking for her. I thought her phone might be broke. <laughs> and I was, and I called Cuz. I was like, Cuz, man. <laughs> Nigga, so you thought, said, Cuz, you, you thought kept calling it was gonna fix it? No, this what happened. I said, Cuz, cause listen, I didn't know nothing about what somebody blocked you. Yeah. So I'm calling, right? I'm calling, calling. And I said, cuz, what do it mean when you call somebody and this they come on? I let him hear it. I'm saying nothing for it. He said, man, they even they phone going for they blocks. I said, oh yeah, phone might be broke then. <laughs> so I might be broke. I ain't gonna tell him the bitch block. <laughs> and then when I text her, he right? He was too fresh out of prison. I text her. It wasn't going like delivered. It wasn't delivered. Like, damn, my phone broke, cuz. I, I said, cause I called him later. I'm like, yeah, my phone broke. So about that time, I probably was like 30 calls in, right? Texas and all that. I'm like, yeah, phone. You texted all kinds of shit. You need a new phone, just let me know. <laughs> I was all fresh kinds, out the joint. All kinds of dumb ass shit. She done blocked. She done blocked your uh, ass. But that's what started our beef. Listen, and she was fucking with him. Guess what threw off? What? She didn't understand where he was going. He, he went over to an apartment. He blazed it and blazed it down. It's like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. He woke the bitch up at 4.30, all in front of the apartment. Get up! What you doing, bitch? What the hell do He out there with the camera set up, screaming at the camera 4.30 of the morning. Bitch, oh, this nigga crazy. This nigga crazy. That's how you got blocked. Yeah. No, you gotta let a motherfucker know for it. No, she, no, 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 no. Bitch ain't understand the journey. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. She thought the nigga was... No, you gotta understand. A nigga come crazy. home from jail from doing 20 years. And then come and they... And then the like nigga, that. he fuck you and then... At 4.30 in the morning, in the morning. he's screaming at the top of his lungs in front of your motherfucking apartment building. Because all she said was, where you going? I'm like, hold up. You ain't, I'm on jail time. You ain't breaking my routine up, baby. I'm supposed to be going to work I'm in the kitchen. I'm on jail time. I'm supposed to be getting up to go work on the kitchen. kitchen. I'm supposed to be going to work in the kitchen right now. <laughs> so I got to get up. This is my regular program. Oh! My body just wake up just saying, waking up like I got to go get this breakfast done for the chow hall. Right. Clean, clean the kettles, get the oatmeal cooked and make sure the tray, I'm, I'm on that time. Yeah. So I get up, she all laying on my get up. Yeah, hey, baby, where you going? She had me brushing my teeth and put my shit on. What you mean? I got to be ready when they hit this door. Yeah. She always hit this door. I got to be ready to go. Yeah. So I don't know, you know, because they buzz your door. You only got a, a short period. They hit that joint. So you couldn't really break out of that. They hit that joint. You got about 10, 15 minutes to come before they come back and lock it. If they come back and lock it, you don't go to work, you don't get paid. And if I don't go to work, I can't get my, my grub that I want. My food is cooked differently down there. Right. I, mean, I make my own meal or whatever, eggs, fried eggs. So I'm like, you think I'm going to miss this this door, baby? Right. I got she like, you home. She's confused looking at him like. So she look at me. This nigga's right. crazy. You were saying this to her? No, I'm not saying it to her, but she looking at me in the bed. She just keep looking up. You know how when you wake somebody up out of their sleep, they just be feeling like, so I'm like, would you keep turning around? She keep turning over all hard and <sighs> Yeah. I'm like, baby, I'm making this fucking 15 minutes. I got my gear on today. I'm I'm out. Yeah. Cause I'm the boy that fold I got my shit folded up into in the oh, bed. Uh, my whole hookup is ready. Yeah. I just, I'm talking about I was at that time I had a ziploc bag and I ain't know nothing about toiletry bag. So if I go see a tenderoni, I got a ziploc bag, a pair of drawers, my 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 my, 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 my uh in your ziploc bag. Yeah, my, my tooth, my my my, my DB call it a tenderoni. My toothbrush. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm out of here. that old head shit. She was in the Romy. She was a Romy. So I go out there, I'm doing she my video. She was a Romy. You're she was a Romy. <laughs> I go out there, I'm doing my video. She's, you can see the blinds come up. Like, what the fuck is you doing out here? Yeah. I'm getting my money, baby. This is my job. I'm at work right now. She didn't understand. She, she just, you know what I mean? And so. Can I, I just call, say this, though? There's a lot of bitches that didn't understand. That didn't understand. Guess what they doing? They don't right believe now. in that dream. Guess what they doing? You see right what Desi said? You see what Desi? My ex did me like that though. What she do? She was like, <laughs> boy, it's like, what she do? We um, I had uh, we and I was together for about. I started dating her right when I started doing comedy, and then I was kind of like, you know, I was growing. Like I probably was at like forty thousand followers. I was at the club one night. These two chicks come up to me with these last shorts on. They like, man, can we take a picture with you? It was my first like fan experience, you know what I'm saying, at a club. So I take the picture, and back then Instagram was different. Like you know, shit would pop up on the explore page like randomly. So the picture popped up on the explore page when they sent it. My girl called me, bro. It's like one in the morning. She like, I seen your picture. I'm like, what picture? She was like, with them bitches. I'm like, oh, that was some fans. She was like, you ain't got no fucking fans. 
She roasted you. What did she say? She ain't got no fucking fans. I'm like, uh, she like, uh, she like, you need to decide. She was like, what you want? She was like, you want to do that comedy shit or you want to be with me? Damn. Straight up. You funky. Did she know how to be? Did she know how to be cream of wheat? No, she ain't really never cooked shit. Oh, well, she ain't no real one. No, if she don't know how to make cream of wheat, the dude should be dealing with it. So right. that's the pre, that's the like the prerequisites. Like I gotta look. You gotta know how to make cream of wheat. She gotta know how to make uh. She make the shit on some cream of wheat. Yeah, you gotta know how to make cream of wheat. You gotta know how to make uh crab legs. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, crab legs. Cream of wheat crab legs. Like just learning how to make. You gotta crab make. Legs. If you don't know how to make no fried rice, vegetable fried rice, you done. You she done. ain't no. Nah, we ain't doing that. Let me just say this too, though, for right. My dog. Hey, hey, I just want to let you know. Gil say you not fucking with him and no Madden man. I did beat him in a game. You get one of that bullshit. He beat him one game. He said he hadn't played in ten years when you beat him, and that's the same shit you do to me. Man, all you do is tell me jokes and lie, man. He was beating everybody ass until I got on that. So you beat him? I beat him. I got him recorded. I was sitting there. I beat him. He was mad as shit. I got the face fresh and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey DL, why you got that that, that ass buffalo uh, do rag on? <laughs> look, look at it. Man, you got a buffalo do rag on, man. You know that ass nigga. <laughs> you know that ass nigga. That ass nigga, man. Hey Gil, come on, y'all. I better lie to you. I'm gonna get my props, yo. Everybody is a lie, Sean. And I ain't played that shit in three years, man. Yeah, it's alright, bro. Whatever, you know. Listen, man. You looking for love again, man. Hey, I got my baby back. What? You got a back? He got a back, bro. He got a back? Bro, oh, he told you. You know bro, about this shit, too? This nigga called me and he had the phone that was doing a spin like this, smiling. Ill, Ill, he got his baby back. Yeah, said, this nigga was ready to jump off a cliff. I don't know he was. He went to the Hollywood sign. It was like, I'm going to jump. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Wait a minute. I got, I'm back. And Bill, no, I told her I can't. He happy as hell. He happy as hell. He happy as, <laughs> he happy as a motherfucker. Look at him. That's a fucking shame, dog. No, we go. Hey, we going to talk. No, I ain't no fuck. I had to pull up coffee going down. He got his baby back. Hey. Hey. He got his baby. He was so. Yeah, no, 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 no. He didn't get his baby back. It's that motherfucking rent do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. That's why he went and got his ass about the dollar. That yeah. motherfucking honey gleasing. Yep. And all that other nigga could provide was a honey gleasing. He it. couldn't provide no that's more. What I, hey, that's what I told him. I said, hey, bro, I said hey, that nigga just hey, ran hey. on. You see, they, you see they in the parking lot outside the bank? <laughs> outside the MCU. Hey, who I don't think you're gonna give me some game. That nigga had people ready to put a clutch or something. <laughs> I did give you some game. I told you the truth. I told you the truth. I told you the truth. Look at him. He don't want to hear that shit. He don't want to hear And look, and then, and, then, and then, let me just tell you something. Let me just give you the best game I can give you. If a bitch ever play with you and you allow her to come back without suffering, she gonna play with you again. Oh, yeah, uh, well, she ain't suffering, nigga. You want yeah, the Cali. No, he lying. You want like the Cali. Yeah, yeah, man. You, you want the Cali. He was staring off. He was out there on the motherfucker. He was laying across all the hills and all that dumb shit. You, 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 you and Cali staring off cliffs, making dumbass captions. When life give you, when life give you lemons, make lemonade. Make lemonade. With all this dumbass shit. If you got a tea bag, make some tea. What? Hey, hey, look. What? Hey, look, no, look, bring it all back to New York, nigga. Let me tell you something. My nephew, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, no, 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 what's up? That's my nigga right there. That nigga went to New York. I'm telling you, that nigga is not. He ran a ball, I remember. You know what's up, nigga? I was hurt, y'all. I'm back now, nigga. All the skip coming. I'm about to be gay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, now, Mr. Skip coming back. Get hang up on that nigga, cuz. Man, you's a fucking. We holler at you, man. You gonna holler at you, man, ass, man. You's a nut. That nigga went crazy. I got my baby. Hey, you know what, though? You said, me. Yeah, he told the nigga some real shit, though, cuz I told him the same thing. Cuz I forgot that he had told me that she she said she had found somebody else. I'm like, oh, she'll be back. You know what I'm saying? She would be fucking mad. Cause that you talking real shit. Spending that money. And he was supposed to. You right. He was supposed to make her suffer. 
fuck with people. He was supposed to make them suffer. I got too much pride. I would have been like, bitch, what you think I'm sweet? Fuck you mean you want to come back? Oh, oh that nigga busting and disgusting, I'm bitch. Oh, Nick got you tangled like an Annie Ann's press, so I'm bitch. You hear them bills backed up on ya. Fuck out of here. Figure it out. Figure it out, bitch. Yeah. Think I'm a, you think I'm a buster, bitch? Yeah. Or you think I'm Buster Brown? Well, I'm bitch. <laughs> That's who you think about. Right? Stop the preaching. Now, D, he was, nigga, he called me. He went over there. He called everybody. The, 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 uh, I think what he said. He had say? a Mexican standoff with a pop. We had a father call to tell him. He said, listen, he grabbed his belt buckle, like, listen, I think he, he tried to bluff the pop. I put a bullet in the motherfucker, somebody hit pop your daughter. And pop said, yeah, me too. Damn. Bob had a Mexican standoff. Go ahead and get up out of here, man, before I dust y'all. You yeah. got that car pulled up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't tell me the story yeah. like that. Yeah, one thing about them old heads, when they tell you they gonna dust you off, they gonna they shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. He, gonna, he gonna shoot the shit out of him out there. He seen it in the old head eyes. And them old niggas will shoot at you from down here. And he like, see that motherfucker. Why you tell him you got your feet up? And then talk to you. See, when you're dealing with a old head, when you're dealing with a real old head, you start putting shit into perspective because you like, this episode of the Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Supercuts. There's nothing more satisfying than making a smart choice, am I right? Especially a smart hair choice, am I right? At some salons, you don't know what you're getting into. Not true at Supercuts. They deliver close to 22 million cuts in 2023 with an average rating of 4.88 out of 5 stars. Why such high remarks? I know that's what you want to know. Maybe because every Supercut stylist has ongoing training, way beyond what you receive at cosmetology school. For your next haircut, use your head. Head to your local Supercuts. Real smart hair. For a real smart hair experience, simply walk into Supercuts or visit Supercuts.com to find a salon nearest you. Go ahead. Pull up the super cuts, get sliced and dice, you know, tie dye, lay to the side, whatever, whatever floats your boat, they got it there. It's super cuts. Right. I know. Oh, he really willing to die because no. he already got 60 in. No. He man. already he already lived this joint. He ain't I'm I'm only 43, man. I ain't old head already. Yeah, he even did what he wanted to do. I he wanted to die head. about this shit. No, them old heads talk to you. This old head, I was playing pool with him. 17 week of hockey, them nice down back and like this probably was like 90, 91. And uh, I was talking, talking my little damn beat me. You know what I mean? Because they was gambling. I wasn't gambling. They betting on my side. They're like, young boy, Wiley gonna beat you. Yeah. So I'm talking a little thing to him, saying my little slick shit. So we playing. I get off, hit it, win another game. I told you, we stop playing. He come over to me like, youngin, man, watch your mouth, man, watch your mouth, baby. I said, man, I ain't about to try to hear that shit because I'm thinking the old head's gonna hold me down up in there, man. Yeah. I didn't know who he was. He yeah. was somebody before him. I, I know they ain't do nothing. Yeah. He came over there and listen, young boy, watch him now. Boom! Hit me with a body shot. I went down, right? Oh, I'm like this, uh. I'm young, right? Yeah. That motherfucker walked up. He talked, he said, he talked to him. Didn't I tell you, motherfucker? <laughs> didn't I tell you? And then he kept doing like this, didn't I, motherfucker? I'm like, this. <laughs> He like, because he talking to you, motherfucker. Don't be playing with me, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, he talking about like whoop shit. your motherfucking did not tell you. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, I got up and got how a lot of you. I was young. It didn't matter. I, I thought I was going to die. It didn't matter how old I was. That I got the head. fuck up out of there. That's that old head digging your stomach like that, man. Yeah. I got up out of there, man. Damn. 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 Fucked him all up in there. It was crazy. Worked yeah, him out. I ain't played pool for like a month after that. I stayed up out of that pool hole. <laughs> you on wrong. Man, fuck dude. What was that, right that movie? The old nigga, uh... Man, he wasn't an old nigga, but, uh... Terrence Howard got that got his ass whooped in the, at the pool hall. What was the movie? Was it Dead President? It's hard to out here yeah, for a bit. Oh, no, Dead President. Yeah, when he, when he was talking that shit yeah. to the old boy yeah, about yeah. his girl. The nigga flipped his ass in that pool Worked him out with uh, it. Uh, now, them old heads don't play. My pops like that, dog. My pops you ever had OG take one of your girls? Fuck, you know they used to do that back in the day. The old head? Yeah, they come through with the Cadillac, the clean car. In high school, the they, used to, right? they used to take yeah. all Yeah. That happened to me one day, man. An uh, old nigga. But you was in Chicago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cool players. Or Kelly took his bitches. <laughs> now, you know what? Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Or got his bitches. He come hey. out. They come out of high school. I'll come, I'll come out of high school. Oh, listen. Or out there. Listen. On some real shit before. Before they lock Kells up. Before they lock Kells up. Before they lock them up. You know, he used to throw these parties at, you know, yeah, you probably said he used to throw these parties. He used to throw these parties. 
<laughs> he studies hard every Friday night at the studio or whatever, free to get in, look at all that shit. And we went. You ever go and pass out? Nah, he and I. I always say, well, when I was there, I ain't even drink. I ain't know what the liquor was. That shit, whatever was in the bottle, wasn't even what was in there. They was saying like, let me get another one of them what's the name? I ain't know what the fuck. I ain't know what the fuck was going on or nothing. But we went and I seen this chick that I used to talk to. Bitch wouldn't even look me in the eyes. She was sitting right next to me. I'm waving at the bitch. Bitch wouldn't even. Oh, are they play that? No. Hell no. no. The craziest story ever. We went to a motherfucking club with R. Kelly. R. Kelly used to have two chicks that used to be like a group or something back in the day. Mm -hmm. I don't know the chick's names. I can't. Is it the, the ones that was on the documentary? I don't know. It was two chicks that used to be, uh, well, I, I think they was a single, whatever, right? But they was together, mm -hmm. right? Motherfucking, we go to a club. One of the chicks was talking to Tigger. Mm -hmm. You from B T the basement? Yeah, right here. You talking about her? Right? You talking about changing faces? I, I don't know what their names was, but listen, one of them was talking to Tigger from motherfucking um the basement. The basement. Yeah, BT. In the club. Now you gotta understand. R. Kelly in the club is way different from everybody else. Like, yeah. Nobody's party, bro. Yeah. It's like 2,000 bitches in here and they all looking at the fucking VIP section at R. Kelly. Cash what money. Was you was right there with it? Yeah, cash money, all of us in there, right? How yeah. close was you? So, she talking to the nigga after she get done talking to him. Tigger walk off. This nigga R walked up and said, what the fuck is you doing in here? You in here talking to them, this bottom basement ass nigga. Bitch, don't you ever play with me like this. <laughs> no, in the middle of the VIP section, this is how you know it's real. Right. If you, if anybody know Manny Fresh, Manny Fresh was just like talking to the other chick, but it wasn't even like, no, he was trying to talk. He just, he might've been talking music, whatever, but you could tell it was like a friendly joint. Like, yeah. Fresh scene. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, French was like it. Oh, fuck <laughs> That's what ready to happen. You get the fuck today. out of here. He was get away him. from me. Bro, Please. This wasn't even. This, this thing was crazy even, about this bitch. This bitch. wasn't even. I'm talking about this bitch that I'm just slugging it out. Like, wouldn't even look. I'm talking about wouldn't even look at me. And when she finally. She had walked. She was walking off away from her. She was walking past me. And she just did like that and kept walking. I say this is the craziest shit I ever seen. And then like right after that, that's when the, like the nigga had, somebody in there had asked to take a picture with me. I tell this shit on stage, somebody had to take a picture with me. And he had some lady, he, used to, he had his lady that stand on this, or like on this stage in that motherfucker and she watching the room. The lady came charging off the stage when she saw the phone come out, tripped over her dress. Big like chubby little bitch, rolled, like fell off the stage and rolled. Bitch popped back up, bro. Walked over, snatched the phone, like, y'all can't do this shit. Robert ain't gonna appreciate it. Nigga, I was so through off. I was like, who the fuck is Robert? She said, that's who pardon is. I said, no, this R, this R. Kelly part. She like, what you think the R stand for? I'm like, damn. So what'd you do? She tell us, she was like, y'all need to go outside if y'all wanna do pictures. We go outside. I'm getting ready to take pictures. His publicist walk up. She like, damn, I fuck with your videos. Can I get a picture? He comes to the door like, hey, y'all need to get in front of my from in front of my studio with this shit. You making it hot? I'm looking like, nigga, it's been hot over here. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So they tell him, see, R was going to see. R was no, he was on some bullshit. I'm gonna tell you what the nigga said to my face, bro. I'm an R. Kelly fan. Like, I, I buffed the nigga shit. The nigga like, uh, his publicist is like, hey, Rob, you should get this picture. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a good look for you. Just want to know, you know, know how it comments about the city. He's like, I ain't taking no picture with him. She asked him again, he said, I ain't getting no picture with him because my life is a picture. Straight to my motherfucking face. So let's get the no, fuck you out of here. You want to know the craziest yeah. shit? You want to know the craziest yeah. shit ever? Yeah, he are the baddest motherfucker ever. This nigga, that story is talking about them hoes no. in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, no, we got at the pool. He no, said he was chasing, running around the hoes with the guy who was on. No, no, no this the craziest shit ever. Every, like, 
night at like 11 o'clock, the nigga go play basketball, 10 o'clock, some shit like that. He, he want to play basketball with the nigga. This nigga had four niggas on his team. None of these niggas was allowed to shoot. I know, I heard that about him. All these niggas just rebound. No, no. No, I heard no, that no, no, no. shit about Fuck him. That. I heard that he done no. passed the ball. No, no listen to me, my nigga. <laughs> you want to know the idiotic shit about this shit? Is that or would shoot a jumper. Nastiest looking jumper in the country. Yeah, but that yeah. shit, yeah, that shit go in though. But it's nasty looking. He shoot the motherfucker, right? They grab, he a miss. They grab a rebound, this motherfucker running around to the ball. Who, who, yo, you know they bad. <laughs> they know they gonna pass it <laughs> Yo, you know they passing you the ball. What the fuck you mean? Who, who, <laughs> <laughs> These niggas ain't allowed to shoot. So wait, how you know they weren't allowed to shoot? Cause they just wasn't ever shooting or these. You heard a nigga say, hey, you niggas don't shoot this fucking ball. A nigga get a rebound and got a wide open layup, man. Then a nigga kick that nobody shot but this nigga, man. That's how the fuck I when you well, okay when you playing against a motherfucker in the first fifteen <laughs> shots, and only he shot the shit. You like, oh okay, I see what the fuck's going on. We not playing them, we playing him. These niggas is just playing defense and rebounding. So what you think about? You think everything they said was true? Or do you think? I don't know. He, well, he had a little account, but I, yeah, I ain't had no fucking account. <laughs> <laughs> he had a little account. What was his account, love? It was, it was, it was, it was slippery. Was it the day when they, he was running around with the goggles and shit on? Yeah. What they got to say, I never seen those shit go down at our crib or them, them type of time. No, weird shit, yeah. But he, he know how to have fun. That's the one thing I do to say. There's a lot of fun with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, had, you know, he had 30 pitches there. I mean, 100 pitches, 50 pitches in the pool area. That shit was ridiculous. He know Mojo been to some of the parties. No, he didn't hit a couple more holes. I know. Damn, he yeah. can't feel some type That's why you no. like the light skin nigga still holding on. No, no I'll let that go. I, I, listen, I'm. Would you mind? I shout, when, I do, when I do the joke on stage, I shout the nigga out. He told his man, his man sent the clip of me doing a joke on stage to him and was like, He tore your little bitch's ass yeah, up to him. Uh, what did he say? He but he was like, he just told me like, hey, just keep doing what I'm doing. Like, he appreciated me keeping his music alive. All right, now let me ask you a question. I got an answer. What happened to the girl? So the girl ain't believing, you start popping. When did you know this shit was really, really gonna go? Did you ever have a moment where you was like, okay, give up? Nah. Never. I don't know. I just never think like that. My whole process always been like, if I quit today, tomorrow could have been a day that some shit popped off. The right motherfucker could have sent me tomorrow. So I never thought like that. I never even felt like, I never thought like giving up, but I never knew how far I would go. I know, I knew where I wanted to go, but I just didn't know, you know, when or how it was going to happen. But I knew if I just kept going, that that shit was going to that shit was gonna be that like I was gonna get to where I wanted to be. A lot of people have uh, a lot of people have moments on social media, but a lot of times they can't transition to that stage. Yeah. Was you always on stage? I started the skits first, then about what probably about six months later I got on stage for the first <coughs> time. But my thought process was like, all right, because my followers was going up when I first started, my shit was going up. I was like, damn, what what's gonna happen to somebody book? I'm gonna go and I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like I gotta, I gotta get up there. And I always been like a nigga that could talk in front of people, bro. Even going back to school, like we did projects and shit. I never did the work. I used to just present the projects to the class. I ran for you know student, you know student council. I was a representative for the classroom, vice president at one point. So it was all of that you go shit. To yeah, I, I went to one. Of, I went to one of them colleges that was scamming niggas. But That's I got a degree from there. Where oh. you go? You went to Evers? Fuck no. Oh, okay. It was like fucking Everest. <laughs> it was sort of like, I ain't gonna say that. Hey, Everest, the joint with this commercial. Yeah. Hey, you had on the couch, man. Yeah. You should have did that fucking commercial, though. You the Everest joint. What you doing? Why you sitting on the couch? You should be going to school. Go to Everest, right? If it's another school that come out with some shit like that, you need to be the nigga. Because you get a nigga up. Yeah. You awake a nigga. You make a nigga feel like he ain't shit. 
You make me feel bad for not getting up at four in the morning. Here you go. It's four in the morning. You still laying down like, yeah, nigga, I just went to sleep at <laughs> twelve. That's what Gil used to, I used to listen. I used to, I used to call Gil early in the morning. He'd be like, yo, is that anything cool? I miss your call. I forget that I called him like five in the morning. I'm like, nah, this nigga ain't up. He supposed to be out here making moves and shit. Yeah. And he was, hey, one time, he, I come to his crib, he like, listen, cuz, you gotta stop calling me. Like, people sleep at that time. Yeah. yeah. I said, what nigga, time I, you on, man? I come to the crib. He still sleep. I'm knocking on the door. Yo. Knocking on the door at 6.40 in the morning. So fuck, going on? Let's, go. let's, let's go on a ride. Let me get the fuck out of here, man. He was a loser. Fuck, he's a loser. Man. Cause you been up since four o'clock. You up at four? What time you go to bed? It depends. Different times. Sometimes I go to bed. I, I go to bed like my favorite time to go to sleep is like three, four o'clock, right? In the afternoon. Yeah, I like three, four o'clock, and I sleep, and then I can stay up. I get back up like around ten, so do some little stuff in the crib, do some research, go on the computer, and then I go back to sleep, and then I'll be ready to up. At yeah, four. Yeah, I'll be back up four or five. Like the latest I'm getting up is like five fifty. Nigga sleeping at three o'clock in the in the afternoon. <laughs> no, because I have anything done. That's why I get if I get, get up, up at right. four, I'll yeah. be there by the world. Jail, he, he, he work up at about maybe four. He cooked for the whole jail. You know how much turning the the oatmeal and shit, man. <laughs> Nigga arms oh, can beat up. Cook. That that was my whole thing. I go to the kitchen early in the morning. Cause first, listen. Was you one of the best cooks there? I can say I probably was, but but uh, in different jails I did different things. That jail, I listen, it, it's it's wild. Right. I went from cooking, and then I said, man, I don't even want to cook in this joint. And I used to catch the rodents. Mm -hmm. I used to lay these traps down every day. So I had these, it's these metal traps. I lay down so I catch all the mice and stuff. So I would go. So like you was a mice catcher too. Yeah, yeah. That that was. I didn't even know that in jail. <laughs> So that means when, when did you have time to check on your bitches? No. He was a pimp in jail no, no, too. So, when did you have time to So at Coat Township. Pimp in jail too. Yeah, no, man, you ain't know that? So at Coat Township. Dog, you, you didn't know that. Hold up, no. hold up. Let me break he this down. He had bitches. Let me break in this down first. Ricky Minaj. <laughs> Not Ricky Minaj. <laughs> no, no. But you think I'm playing, dog. He lying. He had Beyonce and Lil Him. <laughs> Listen. At the end of the day, well, no, hold on. I need you to confirm or deny this allegation upon you. Bro. No, it was people that had the names in jail, but not the you. Wasn't they him though? No. Okay. They had the names. Uh, Lil him. Um, Beyonce. Who was the one boy named Lil? I, I don't even go get it all that. How did you know them though? Like how you know them? they were popular? They was just people would say their names. I, I thought it was. I was like, wow, that's a wild name. Yeah. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, man. It was no. Great. It was some crazy names in there, man. Because one day, one day, one day, listen, this this no, because some of the old heads, right? Some of the old heads talk like it's just normal. Yeah. So I almost, listen, I'm at the I'm at the breakfast table. I'm eating my stuff. Toast. I'm going to get some toast and butter, a little jelly on it. I'm chilling. So the old heads say, yo, man, tell, I mean, tell what's the name if you see him. I holler at him and be in the yard this morning. Yeah. Right? I'm like, what? And the names, he don't know all the names. He just knows some of them. So someone want it. He say, he say, yeah. Tell him, tell him, who you talking about, man? Dark skin. Come on, stop playing games. He said, who? You know, they, the boy they call Penis Williams. I said, what? Because <laughs> listen, this boy used to be out playing handball, and when he was playing handball, every time he hit the ball, you know, I beat him scream. Ah! Yeah. Ah! All in the yard. So I'm like, oh shit, that's what they called him. Whatever. Penis Williams. Penis Williams. Right. Like Venus Williams. So I'm like. Oh, I, I'm gonna okay, cash it. I, I'm, I don't never want to go to jail. I'll be my shit. And meet none of these people. I'm like, Kimmy Minaj or whatever the fuck. Ricky. Ricky Minaj. Yeah, all that shit. Lil' Hell. Lil' Hell. How you know about him, Gil? Because he was, he was some shit. He said he lying on me. But whatever well, he lying. Listen, <laughs> listen. I told him about this. Everybody the up the jail knew this was my cousin. Yeah. I told him about this. He had pictures of me on the wall. He like, I ain't had no pictures. Yes, he did have pictures of me in the cell, nigga. Come on, fake ass rapper. That nigga was a jersey rapper. That never <laughs> So niggas would call home and be. He the boy that get traded into 15 teams. But nigga, <laughs> like, like, he was like the boy. What was my man name? I'll shout him out. He's, he was a hell of a player. He would play the A team in the NBA. But he was actually good. He went to every team on the NBA. Uh, Abdul Raouf or some shit. Uh, There's a lot of niggas that no, played. No, no, no. This one boy played on every team in the NBA. That's how Gil was. Gil was on like 15 labels and he never made a hit. Yeah, don't let him do that. Don't let him say that. Tell him what your best hit was, Gil. God was getting me to this point right here. 
Well, that's what we talked about last night. God knew if he would have made me big in the rap game, I'd have been too much for these niggas. I'm already too much for these niggas now. Right. You know what I mean? So it ain't made no sense. I'm an old nigga. I'm laid back. Yeah. Nike sweatsuits yeah. every day. Yeah. And back when I was rocking that shit. Yeah. No. Wearing that shit. If he would have gave me that money and let me go stupid. Because. I wouldn't even be here. This man. boy, Ish Smith, who is that? Ish Smith, yeah. That's the nigga who, who uh, Tyrese Max, he was talking about Cross King Over, man. Ish Smith played on 13 teams? Yeah. Since 2011? <laughs> yeah. God damn. Bro, the NBA is one of them leagues where they, Joe they Smith about played your on Y'all fuck with the Sixers? Yeah, that's my team sometimes. <laughs> you know I fuck with the Sixers. You fuck with the Bulls? You know I fuck with the Bulls. That okay. was my team so, back in the day. The Bulls. So let me ask you a question. This nigga, wow. Did it so me? You from the West Side or the South West Side? West Side. Okay. Because only West Side niggas believe this. But we gonna see if you tell the truth. Okay. They tell the truth, nigga. Like you know goddamn well, Harold's is better than Uncle Ring. Man, you lost your motherfucking mind. Man, get the fuck out of here. He done lost his motherfucking mind. Let me tell you something. Harold's is good. All right, I'm gonna get Harold's what it is. But when you hear about Harold's, what do they say? It depends on. Which one you go to? Yeah, if you go to that, Uncle, that, Uncle that, Remus, is gone. I don't give a fuck which no, one you go no. to. That shit is consistent. Uncle I'm Remus not gonna is listen only to in this. fucking Chicago. Let's keep it real. No, it's not. It's one on the. Okay, here okay, 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 okay. Okay, so, so, is okay, in Minneapolis. Okay, they got one in Minneapolis. Okay, of course, they don't know how to cook that motherfucking chicken. They ain't got that little lady in the fucking back like Harold had. Nigga, and the motherfucking <laughs> one in Atlanta that I went to in Atlanta. That chicken was fucked up. It wasn't good. Oh, but when you go to the real house. In motherfucking Chicago, right? You know goddamn well that chicken is better than Uncle fucking Remus. Right? Let me tell you something. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm gonna give you a good example. So you just said, you know, you go to different cities. That shit ain't good in no other city. But when you come to Chicago, where it originated, that, that's where it's good, right? Because they try to franchise it. You know they I fucked it up. That, they but, ain't but, give them niggas to. Oh, look at all the other franchises that's out here in the world. They ain't give them niggas to. Popeye, the Popeye. when you go to Popeye's, that shit pretty much the same. I don't give a fuck what's I don't think that there. chicken was worth it because listen, the whole time. Harold's? No, listen, and I'm going to tell you, you what. You had Uncle Raymond's yet? No, let me explain something to you. I when don't you eat, come to Chicago, I'm going to let you say I'm going to eat chicken, but this is why I'm telling you. Why you don't eat chicken? We go to the joint, right? He told us, man, this Harold's. The whole time, I'm like, nigga, I said, listen. Because somebody was like, damn, I told him. He was like, we, he, he met up with somebody to get some some smoke. Yeah. He was like, we gonna go to Wilson and tell an Uber driver. I said, man, that's your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because my whole thing is like, nigga, ain't no chicken worth worth your life. You ain't seen them, them motherfucking YouTubes with all them niggas in, in Chicago, them young niggas yeah. shooting this shit. I'm not getting killed about no motherfucking no, chicken. No chicken. You want me to go down there? So we pull up, you're like, no, come on, this is a spot. We gotta go up in here. I'm like, no, you gotta go up in there, nigga. Yeah. I'm not going up you in there. Nigga, that shit. Listen, I wanna be like, got I my motherfucking chicken. I don't give a fuck. I want right up, up in that motherfucking got my chicken in the motherfucking hood. Ain't nobody body. They, they heard it was all love. Kill it. Real nigga, I what's up? Some fries. Nigga, give me that mild sauce with that crack <laughs> okay, you get it, nigga. Uh, I you said in the car. No, I got some fries that I see in the car. <laughs> I got some fries when I see in the car. They got out the car 20 minutes later, <laughs> cuz, give me some fries. Cuz if I ain't up there with my, my, my nephews, you know what I mean? Cuz when the nephews come, ain't they cool. Right. You know what I mean? I ain't fucking around. Well, y'all yeah, yeah, was love, bro. Yeah, was it don't matter. I'm yeah. telling you, ain't nobody gonna buy it. I was like, man, I don't think it's Harold's. I don't give a fuck where it was. That could have been. <laughs> ain't nobody fucking with you. Well, everybody thinks this nigga's crazy. That know. shit could have been oh, in Old Block. That shit could have been on all on the corner of fucking old block in between yeah, 63rd right, yeah. and 64. I wouldn't have went over here again. No, I would have went got that Harold's nigga. I ain't there all the time. Fuck you talking about. You mean to let me just tell you something. I wouldn't have went over there again. Let me just tell you something. Nigga, I dropped somebody off over there on accident one time. I wouldn't have went over there again. Okay, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. Let's be for real, bro. It's regular motherfuckers that's living over there that every day they get up, go to work, go to school, go to... Man, I could have got in and out of that motherfucker in 15 minutes, man, for some chicken, I'm man. Filming what what that, I, about, man. I, I, what I, I y'all was, y'all niggas is legends, bro, like... I'm getting in and out of They weren't gonna fuck minutes. with y'all over there. They not gonna fuck with y'all. They not gonna fuck with y'all. I figured Wallo, you good. Like, Wallo, I feel like you could talk a nigga out of robbing you. Nigga come up to you. I did it before. That's what I'm saying. Like, why you wanna do this? No, I don't do that. I gotta shoot that. Robbing him for his ass. He's the old head. You don't want my ass. It ain't that good. <laughs> no, no, the, the number old one. Old head, you don't want none of this ass, old head. I don't even wipe my ass good. Well, old head. Why y'all take that ass off me, though? I don't know if that was their motive. Right. 
But what did they ask Look, for? Look, you know goddamn well nigga trying to set you the fuck up. No, the I boxing talk, nigga. I talk myself out of boxing it. nigga. The boxing nigga wasn't trying to get some ass from me. <laughs> no, he just... Another no. one of our old heads had to go down there and get him up out of it. Me how to box. The, the boxing nigga, what he do is he get you in there. He try to act like he's showing you some moves. You know what I mean? No, because you he, he touching you up though. He feeling you. Yeah. And then he go ice you. Boop, bop. Oh, yeah. oh damn! I didn't mean to catch you like that. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Let me get you see. Now you copy back All that old shit. Yeah. The, one of the old heads that run down and tell me, get up out of here, America! I stop this shit, man. He's from down the way and all that shit. See, this fucking ass. No, what happened was. <laughs> so, what happened was. Love. I seen this young boy. He was looking like he was hungry. Yeah. So, when I seen, I acknowledged, I, I, I basically, the interaction, I initiated. Nephew, what's up, baby? And he wasn't like, I get okay. He was like, what's up? I dapped him up. Yeah. I did one of them joints. I felt he had a piece on him. Yeah. Dude, as soon as I got it, I, I like spun him around. Now get up out of here. The police coming. Then they go right there. Get up out of here. He was like, oh. And he dipped. And I just went my way. Low. What? You felt the nigga finna get down on you. I thought he was. So you spoke I thought he had to slam him. I spoke to him. Then you dapped him up, hugged him. You felt the peace. And I told him, yo, the cops right there, man. Go ahead, side up off the block. Scary shit. He ran. No, he ain't run. He just slid off. I yeah. ran. I damn I, I walked you ran. Yo, I walked. You know the George, you like this. See, I got robbed before. I had some niggas rob me. I got robbed. What with they robbed you for, man? Man, they just, nigga, they took my phone. I probably had about 3500 on me. Mm. They yeah. got you good. They only took my wallet. leather jacket. Man. Yeah, they got the wallet. They took everything. Mm. Did you negotiate with like yeah, them? We had a guy <laughs> No, they jumped me. It was about five of them. They beat you up too? They ain't really beat me up. The first nigga swung. The first yeah. nigga was a young man. He do so him They fight. fucked you up. So yeah. they grabbed me, put me on the ground. I just bought no, They didn't grab you, put you on the ground. They grabbed you, slammed you all over the place. Yo, 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 yo. Slammed me on the ground. It was in the video. It's still a two. It ain't no video. How you going to try? Hey, listen. How you going to try to light skin this shit up? They had grabbed me and put me on the ground. No, I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. First of all, let me yeah. just say this. You started off wrong. They ain't really fucked me up like that. No, no they didn't. I was know. like the MMA fighter. <laughs> Wait, what? Let me tell you. You ain't let me explain it to you. The nigga do MMA fight don't mean he be winning, nigga. There's a lot of niggas. There's a lot of niggas that play basketball. They can't fight. I had, a bad, I had a bad record in boxing. You can't fight? No, it wasn't that I can't fight. It's just that my record of my, I had more of a stronger record of losing than winning. Okay. Because a lot of times, a lot of the different coaches I had, the trainers. The techniques that I was using, I kept switching up. Yeah. So my record was like at, at its peak, it was like seventeen to twenty-one. I mean seven to twenty-one. <laughs> you just getting in your ass. You getting your ass in the ring for no goddamn reason. No, I wasn't really that. It was just that I had picked the wrong trainers. Yeah. Yeah. I just was getting dudes that was in the gym to do. And they was just telling you to do. I would pick shit. a trainer based off whoever I walk in the gym and they were shadow boxing good. I'm like, yeah, he, this is my guy. Yeah, it was crazy. So I was like, fuck. No, them niggas had, they, we was throwing a party though, and them niggas had came, and uh, I was I was collecting the money at the door, so it was a house party, so I'm outside. How much was it to get in? I probably had, it was like, we weren't charging shit, probably about five, ten dollars to get in that motherfucker. Five for ladies, ten for guys. About five of them come in, it was ten for guys. One of the niggas I knew though, when they popped back out, once I recognized the nigga, I was letting them know, like, nigga, I know you. Like, I'm like, hey, I'm like, damn, nigga. Well, where you been at? You just got out, didn't you? He, like, he, yeah. to, he said, I ain't trying to I try to let a nigga know, I, I, nigga, I know you. So if y'all do this like I know you. You ain't do nothing, man. I didn't. The nigga stole on me. The, the next the one nigga, he swung, and I leaned, I was on the porch, and I leaned back. I seen the coming. When I did that, he grabbed Why me. Why you running the house? I, nigga, them niggas had me in a circle. What, what happened? Listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> that nigga swung. I leaned back on the porch. Right? When he swung, the other nigga hit me. The MMA nigga grabbed me, took me, bam, right on the ground. I told ain't slamming it. Tell the truth, nigga. What do you mean? What you slamming it? Shoulder, your head. Man. I was on. I probably, I probably, I probably was, I probably was like that when I hit the ground. Okay. So I immediately, the wallet was in my back pocket. I immediately just ball up. Man, don't take that shit. They took it, took the phone. The niggas ran off. Ran off. For real, real super. I got PTSD, but I don't like niggas walking behind me. I don't like. Oh, cause that I don't ass like niggas. Cut that shit out, man. Let that ass walk. Did you play dead? 
Let that ass play dead. go. No, I ain't play dead, nigga. When them niggas ran, I got up and went in the house and I told my man, like, like, nigga, they just took everything. I was, I was with Gil one time. These niggas started shooting. It wasn't shooting us. <laughs> and it ricocheted off a car. Like, I just heard it hit close to that car. <laughs> I fell out, thought I was hit. I was bleeding out of anything. I wasn't even bleeding. You wasn't even shot. Oh, he got me cuz. <sighs> <laughs> he gonna say, he gonna say, he gonna say, they coming this way. So I just did one of these joints. I was, cause I was playing. I was like, <laughs> I thought I got hit cause, I, cause it was so close to the car. So it just the effect of it hitting the car, I thought I hit my leg. So, so you I, felt the pain in your leg? Yeah. Now I feel I, shit. Wasn't it. So listen, I'm hit, cause, I, all these things, all I'm like, 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 So he gonna play, he gonna say, oh shit, they coming this way. I was just like. <laughs> He started laughing because they wasn't coming this way. Like, yeah, I played dead. You're supposed to play dead if somebody shoot you. Nigga, no, you're not. Yes, you did. What are you going to do if you playing dead and the nigga walk up and tickle the shit out of you? I couldn't move because. You ain't going to laugh? I, no, but are you tickling? I already was scared Whoa. because I thought I was. He wasn't even shot. I thought I was shot. So I'm like. So your legs still I hurt. Could, my leg yes. was hurting. I couldn't because I it thought, wasn't hurting. But I thought then I when was shot. He finally shot. got up. He living and shit. I thought I was shot. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm like, so he said, he said, cuz, he said, cuz, it Really what happened was, really what happened was, when he ran past the car, the nigga leg hit a little piece into the car. Yeah. And then he heard the, he heard the, he fell. I'm like, I'm in. I'm like, I'm in. Whole time he hit his leg on the car, got a little ass scrape on his So when he said he hit, when he said he was hit, what was you thinking? I thought he, he, thought he, he thought he was really hit. Yeah. So 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 the whole twist is, but he was play, he was on some bullshit trying to get me because if I'm, hit, I'm like, come on, we why out. You, no, no, yeah. first you said them niggas coming this way. Come on, we out. Out. No, no. Out. First he said they coming this way, they coming this way. So I'm like, if I go live and play dead. He started laughing. Why would you lay there and play? Because I thought it was I, I had to because you didn't answer my question. He thought he was shot. Are you tickling? No, I don't think so. So if a nigga, if you playing dead and a nigga walk up to you and start tickling you underneath your arms and your feet and shit, you ain't gonna laugh. You gonna be a player. Ain't no gangster tickling no Man, you crazy in the motherfucker. You knew a gangster. If a nigga wanna know if you alive or not. Let me just tell you something. That's just a movie shit. Fuck you talking in the middle of a shit out nigga walk up. Alright, that nigga dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. I mean, that was just crazy. I was like, oh, he I thought was, he got a blimp it. I thought I had a shootout. With he him. thought it was over with. Cause pull, I thought I was gonna pull this motherfucking way. joint up. Pull this joint up, right? That nigga had a little ass scratch, man. He had his leg on the car. So <laughs> now, who, have any of y'all been shot? Yeah, he got shot in his head. Talk about he like he was going. Well, I get shot in my fucking head. Like, <laughs> shot in your arm. I got shot in a few places, nigga. That nigga got grazed. So, that nigga got pistol with crazy. Grazed. The nigga hit First of all, that nigga like got grazed. Like, like, listen. Yeah, my sister got no, shot. Right no, Wait, hold on. Do that look like a fucking graze to you? Do that look like a graze to you? Listen, listen, listen. He got slapped with a gun and a nigga let the gun go and slapped him. Boom! Yeah. He thought he was dead. Yeah. He thought he was dead. Yeah. He slapped me with a missile. Yeah. Oh, boom. The joint went off. Gil, last night. Gil, last night. Nigga, You was telling me that motherfuckers know not to fuck with you. Man, that nigga's. You let a nigga smack you with the pistol. He smacked you with a gun and let it go off at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was dead. He thought a nigga shot him in his biscuit. He played dead. He thought he was done. The nigga hit him with his. You know when somebody hits you in the head with a gun, you be like this. I'm waiting on Gil to clear this shit up right now. First of all, first of all, first of all, right. Nigga hit him with the head of the gun. First of all, right. Did it, did it happen or did it not happen? No, it didn't. All right. First, it, 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 some what he's saying is the truth. <laughs> some what he's saying is the truth. I got the fuck out of there. I'm just waiting. So what he said? You left him? I'm not doing it. He wasn't part of the robbery on this joint. Okay. Where was he that from again? No, he no, 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 no. I left you many I times. Back door, I backdoor the nigga. Yeah. My old head for some pounds of weed. Okay. <laughs> I don't think they thought knew it was me. I don't know. Right. Old head pulled the joint out. I got out of there. They tried to go upside my biscuit. It missed. And the joint went off. He thought he was shot in the head. He ran. Mm -hmm. Got listen, out of there. That wasn't my problem to stay there. Right. And what he go, listen, listen. If me and you and him go, no, 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 no. If me and you and him go somewhere, right? Y'all didn't break me to hell. Listen, no, ain't, this, 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 listen. Y'all didn't break me to hell. I wasn't in it on the head. Let me explain. Y'all tell me about it. If me, you, and him go somewhere, I'm going to die. I'm just letting it go. I'm going to die. I want to know if I'm wrong. If me, you, and him go somewhere, then. 
a gun go off, or right? Whatever. We're not obligated to stay together. Now, if so the rumble is cool, but if a gun go off, nigga, I'll see you if you make it back. If not, I'll tell you people. Say, I'll <laughs> see you if you make it back. I'm, I'm, I'm Jesse Owens. I'm jumping over cars. You ain't making make sure he good. Bro, he just for got, what? Bro, he, he that nigga wasn't even. I ain't even no listen. Realm, <laughs> he didn't make sure I was good when he, he got that money and was doing his thing. I knew he had. Some, I knew he had some unnecessary money one time. I'm like, hold up, what's going on? And he say. Damn, you know, what's up? You, I hit Pussy, you knew what happened. He was mad. Y'all ain't tell me. Damn, y'all came up. That's fucked up. Damn, let me break me off. So that's like, no. So like, keep it real, though. We like, risked our life. Keep it real, though. He was mad because they ain't cut you in. Yeah. I got about it. So no, you old, ain't. No, no, you been so getting down to my presence. So when the old head tried like, to get out on me. Yeah. Right? I thought it and I ain't gonna lie, this is a spooky old weed. This ain't no regular old I thought it was, yeah, it was like, this ain't no like. Well, so he did hit you upside your head. No, he, 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 no, he tried to. He, he missed. He grazed him a little bit, like hit the front, he had a hickey on his head. And, and, and he, he shot the ground. Okay. He got a body hit too. <laughs> Fucking right. If you get a body, I'm supposed to stay and see if the coast clear. Hell no. So we, 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 hey, we all got to hey, get out of there, hey, but hey, make sure we all hey, out there. When I got to him, when I got to this bitch ass nigga, he like this. Who comes? <laughs> Listen, as soon as he pulled the gun out, right? I was from here. I was like this. As soon as I see him, he did like this. Hey, man, let me holler. She did like this. He, I didn't even know what he had. I was like, <laughs> I got the fuck out of here. He would have talked. It's, it's his fault. He talking. I'm Look, not talking about Fuck you, I had to talk because I'm still trying bluffy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I ain't had nothing to do with that shit. Fuck you talking about I was about 10 blocks head. away by then. By the time he got that gun out, I heard that shit 10 blocks, 15 city blocks away. Hey, no, I still got to hold feet. I still got to hold my face car. Because yeah. I ain't had nothing to do with that yeah. shit. Fuck you talking about what you think, nigga. You think I'm going to fuck you think I'm... I ain't had nothing to do with that shit. Fuck! <laughs> listen, 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 listen. And you 10 blocks up the road. You know why? You know why? The, the scariest thing I ever see happen. And I, and I see what's happening. Minutes. I'm thinking like, I gotta get far away. And then when I get far away, I gotta hide a ghost somewhere because a motherfucker jump in their car, you can be 20 feet. You done, I see it happen. Yeah. A motherfucker jump in their car. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game Business Spotlight. Today yes. we got my man Cody up here, man. Yeah. Listen, the future CEO, listen, he's doing his thing. He's not playing no game. Cody, man, we're we not even gonna listen. We're gonna cut to it. First of all, you're giving out a free, I'm talking about you're giving out a free live workshop and a free ebook, Metro 2 ebook. You're not playing. You're just going to give them the game, the cheat code. I'm talking about Metro 2 cheat code, right? And then all they got to do is go to mdwgcredit.com. They're going to go there and they're going to get the game. You see it on the screen, right? But Cody, man, listen, man. Cody Brown it is. Yeah. Get them some game. And I want you, don't play no games. Don't hold back. Don't be trying to be cool. Give them some game. How old you is, how you got started, what you was doing before you got this and where you at now. So number one, I'm 23 years old. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, um, born and raised. And how I got started into this credit repair industry, I had problems with my credit. Literally, I had a $200 collection that reported on my credit report. At that time, I was thinking about doing the truck industry. You know, I went to a conference to learn about, you know, trucking, credit, things like that. And then two weeks later, I went ahead, got back home, getting ready to run the plays. And then boom, a $200 collection hit my credit report and dropped my credit score over 150 plus points. From there, I started learning and reading books, joining mentorships, YouTube videos like this one, um, and just finding out all kinds of information to actually learn how I could actually build on my credit report. And then from there, I just started learning how to clean other people's credit report and then started a credit repair business from there. And now, you know, I'm teaching people the same exact game, how they can use the same resources and methods that I use to actually help people and, you know, run up a bag themselves. Let me ask you a question. Uh, so with this live workshop, right? Yeah. How often do you have it? So I have it once a week. Um, on Thursdays, you can definitely join in, tap in. We're going to show you exactly how to repair your credit and build a credit repair business on that, on that call. So you're telling me right there on that, on that, on that live workshop with the people and all that stuff, you mean to tell me you're just going to give me a bunch of game and I ain't got to pay nothing for it? Absolutely free. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly the, the same resource that I use in my credit repair business so that I was, so that way I was able to turn up. So that's basically Metro 2. It's an AI-powered software that anybody can literally go in. Like, you can be a complete newbie and literally subscribe to the software and clean up your credit report. So that way, you don't have to go out and pay the person $1,000, $1,500. And even some people are actually charging $2,000 just for credit repair. Me, personally, I think that's crazy because now there's resources in 2023 going into 2024 that you can use to actually clean up your own, your own credit um, that's inexpensive. 
All right, now, did you ever think you'd be doing this? What, what job you had before this? I had FedEx. Oh, we, oh, so you was running around delivering the packages? Yeah, 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 driver jumping in and out the trucks, watching out for cars. You know, two, three hundred dollar packages on a daily basis. You ever opened anybody packages on a loaner? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I never, I never thought about <laughs> that. I never thought about that. Never thought about Good that. kid. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, you, you was like, man, this ain't, this ain't doing it. This ain't doing it. So basically, yeah. To be honest, so I literally started turning up and helping people and showing them exactly how they can start doing this. Um, you know, and then from there, I'll just bounce. Now, how, how many people, uh, stuff you helped since you got into the game? How many people you helped probably? Since I got into the game, in less than 10 months, I was able to help over 150 plus people mm -hmm. literally remove anything like charge-offs, collections, late payments, repossessions, bankruptcies, all of that stuff at a, you know, at a, at, at an easy rate. So that way they can actually go ahead and do it. And literally the software that I'm showing people how to use, it starts off at 147 a month. So now they can literally go in and instead of paying me that $1,500 or $1,000 to clean up their credit report, now they can actually subscribe to the software, be a complete newbie. And mind you, in less than five minutes, you can go ahead and create your first letters and not even have to leave the house. You can send your letters inside the software to actually go ahead Let me ask you a and question. repay your credit. What it, it, is information, do they have to, to be a part of that? To get the inf the information you're giving, can they just go do it themselves? Absolutely, yeah. So with that free ebook and that workshop, I'm gonna give you the game and the information to show you how you can go out and actually repair your credit. And you don't need you. No. Nah. Oh, that's beautiful. Nah. Damn, that, that ain't that ain't no. And not to mention that we actually have three live coaching sessions every single week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays every single week. So that way you actually have the the guidance, you have the step by step. So that way you can literally go out and use the software and be. A complete newbie like you don't have there's no you know like those tricky upsells like yo there's this coaching or you got to pay extra like literally if you're subscribed to the software you're able to join the the coaching session every single week whether you want to join it one time two times three times but i think one time is actually good enough and it suffice basically that's your word though newbie yeah <laughs> You can just be a newbie. Yeah, you be a newbie. <laughs> Yo, that's you can, crazy. You can be a newbie to this. For sure, for sure. That's what they said when, uh, that's what they said when he got to the train. Some newbies coming through. Fuck out of here. Little newbie. That's, that, that, that's crazy, though, man, because it's like everybody's going through a rough time and there's certain things. You know, you might get in a rough spot where things is not right. You can't pay somebody at the time. Yeah. I can't pay you back. Now they hit your credit, hit your next, you know, 100, 150. You, and now you, then you, you know, you had 300 somewhere. You just right. done. And not to mention, too, like, so there's a lot of people that's going out here. They're paying credit repair pump companies like $1,500, $2,000, and they're not getting the results that they're looking for. I uh, know. You get what I mean? Like, My I sister want you just to... did that shit. <laughs> See, why I want she her come to actually... she, Who she pay? She pay somebody? Why she ain't come out like that? I know. I'm, I'm slipping. I'll be high, man. <laughs> that All was of my credit niggas we know. <laughs> that was crazy. Could have just got one, one nigga. How much she pay? I don't know, man. I ain't. I, I paid for that shit. I know. Mm. You know. You paid for it. <laughs> yeah. So literally, she can be be a like she can be the person to actually go onto the software and use the Metro Two system and actually get those results. Because a lot of times is you might pay a person fifteen hundred dollars and they didn't come to you like two months. Like, hey, Cody, what's going on? Like, we still working. But then again, now you're able to add that all of that stuff in your position. You know exactly what's going on. You know when you sent out the letters. You know exactly what's next in the process. So that way, you don't have to be relying on somebody else. Because at the end of the day, credit is needed for apartments. Literally, somebody texted me two, yesterday. She said, I can't get an apartment. Because number one, she has a bankruptcy on a credit report. Mm. She had a repossession for $9,000 on mm. her credit report. So she's like, Cody, how do I actually get into this and literally start turning up? She was actually thinking about getting a second job to pay off this stuff. You know mm. what I mean? So now if she get a second job, that won't really work because you still have to clean up the credit report at the end of the day. Right. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Them bankruptcies, how, how is they, is there a fight to get that off? I done seen bankruptcies dropped off in like two weeks, one round, two rounds, three rounds. Like I seen this information removed off of people's credit report on a day-to-day -day basis, Amen. a day-to-day -day basis. And not to mention when they get that EDU, that, that, that ebook, I'm going to give you guys a direct invitation to join us out of our Facebook group and you'll be able to see the testimonials because I don't want y'all to believe me. You can literally go inside the Facebook group, type the word bankruptcy. You're going to see deletions. You're going to see receipts. You're going to see people using the same exact information to remove anything, bankruptcy, charge off, late payments, collections, any negative item that's on your credit report, you can use it. So now, get that ebook. E e e now, what they say to the people that don't got credit, meaning, mm -hmm. you know, you're coming out the joint. You never had, you never had an established. You never had nothing, you know. 
how how do you establish credit? Like if you never had nothing, it's not like you in you in a red, but you don't like. How do you establish that? So first things first, what you want to do is step one: pull your credit report. And once you pull your how you pull report, it? Where do you pull it at for people that don't know? Yeah, so you can go to myfreescorenow.com. You can go to experian.com. You can go like to those two websites. Those are like the biggest websites mm -hmm. that you can use and actually pull your credit report from there. From there, if you don't have any credit, you want to start building up some positive accounts. So you can start going by like getting secure credit cards at Navy Federal, Capital One, um, Discover. You can get secure credit cards through there, start building up that credibility to actually turn into an unsecured credit card, which is basically you, you're not playing with, the, you're playing with the bank's money instead of your money, right? So now you're able to start using that information to actually turn up. Now, now when you say that, right, how long do it take to really for the score to start jumping? Oh, it start jumping as soon as the information is on a report. So as soon as those credit those credit cards start dropping on the credit report, mm -hmm. that's when it start building up, and you start seeing that credit score, you know, start increasing as time goes by. What's the average score that the average person got? Average score, <laughs> you you you'll be surprised. It's actually a lower score because a lot of times is people don't worry about their credit until they actually need, need it. it. Yeah. yeah. So usually it's anywhere like most times people come to me, they at like five hundred, six hundred. You know, around that area, they at 620 trying to get business funding, which is crazy because you have to be at a certain level when it comes to getting funding. And what's, and, the, what's, you know, what, what's, what's the best what's the best uh, place to look up your credit, like the best one out of all of them? You know, you got a bunch of different ones. What's the most reliable one? Best one for me personally, I say go to myfreescorenow.com, right? And inside the ebook, there's a direct link where you can literally go in and get your my, your credit report. So that way you don't have to be fishing all around the place. You get the experience, What's you get your the credit score, nigga? and trans. I was looking at it, don't worry about it. What's your credit score, nigga? <laughs> my shit is 850, nigga. The fuck out of here. Show me. <laughs> it was, it was 950. Show me. I just You're got a new phone. Nigga. I can't, I just my new phone. I can't This credit out. score could be 950. 850. Uh, he, look, he, you know, for that as shit. I know. We fucking talking about his going to be a 950. I'm like, what the fuck? They got some new shit out. Yeah, yeah it probably it no, changed. Show me what you got to so you log no, in, nigga. What's no, your my, I can log in because it's a new phone and all my stuff not on here. I got to transfer. I'm transferring. Oh, I'd have logged in the scene and you would have seen that 875. I nigga, think while we go up to 850, you lying ass. You know my nigga. shit's stupid. I mean, you do got Lamborghinis and Maybach's I walk in anywhere. and 63s and all types of shit. So you, your credit do kind of be kind of good. stupid. I, just, I ain't going to lie. I mean, but no, so, 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 so the bottom line is this. If you're out there, man, don't wait till you need credit to get it. Right. Mm -hmm. Get up on your credit game now. Figure it out. Get the, pull, pull your credit. Make sure you got anything that's going on. Do your thing. But, like, Cody, once again, give me the game that I'm getting in this free, this live workshop. And this free ebook, this Metro 2 cheat code. So number one, you're going to get the direct information about Metro 2 because this is something that people are not familiar with, right? Metro 2 is something that's been around since 1997. And we just catching on on game when it what comes to Metro 2. What is Metro 2? So Metro 2 is basically a, a system that the bureaus use. Bureaus meaning credit, um, Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. These are the kind of things that they use to read your letters. Because once you send out these disputes or attacks to Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, Here's the thing. There's not a person that's reading these letters. They feed it through a machine and then they actually give you a final result to say, hey, listen, we're going to remove this information or we're going to keep it on there. By using Metro 2, you're using their own system to actually get the results that you're looking for. So you're using their own ammo to shoot them. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like you're using their information against them to actually get negative information off the report. That's a newbie to me. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Y'all could be new newbie friends. Right. Right, and, and not to mention, Wallow, another thing too, on the on the software, like you can literally get the information in that ebook and turn up and start making two thousand dollars a month, beer minimum, because it gives you the opportunity to have four GAs where you're literally able to charge people five hundred dollars. Right? What's GAs? GA is basically a credit that you can use to actually send out your your letters. It's good for about thirty days, right? Mm -hmm. You can send it to Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. If you got debt collections, you got the bankruptcy courts, you want to use that, you can use one GA and send out all those letters to, you know, all those negative information that you have on your report. So before we get about it, Kobe, t tell Kobe, tell him what you, you know, about you and what you got going on and what's next. So what's next for me is literally teaching people and empowering people how they can literally use the, the AI software, which is Metro 2, to actually turn up and start, you know, building up a positive credit history because at the end of the day everything is evolved around credit if we want to buy a car we need to have good credit mm. if we want to need if we want a job promotion there was literally i had a lady she came to me she was getting promoted right and her credit was messed up and it wasn't her fault right 
she that's the difference between a hundred thousand dollars and a hundred and fifty thousand dollar promotion, right? Because she didn't have good credit, she had to come to somebody like me to actually find out how to, you know, work up her credit report, get it done. So now you're able to start doing those things and turn up basically. That's well, what we appreciate about. you for coming on. Thank you. We appreciate what you need to do right now to get this free live workshop and free ebook, Metro 2, T Code. Go to mdwgcredit.com. Get with future uh, underscore the CEO right now, man. Young brother got it going on. You keep doing your thing. Cody Thank Brown. You. <laughs> and you keep that good energy, bro, no matter what, man. This is Thank another you. episode of Million Dollars. sound like a motherfucking good girl. NFL cornerback, though. <laughs> Cody Brown with that interception. Oh, he's yeah, in the yeah, 30s. Yeah. He's at the tw- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I did have football dreams at one point. Was yeah. you good? Was you good? Nah. He is a fucking Oh, you was the water boy. He was like Cody. <laughs> Cody, the water a, boy Brown. Cody couldn't catch a cold. Mother of them. Ain't telling him something. Get on the bench. Grab the water. <laughs> Cody, go fix some fucking credit, man. Hey, go ahead, man. Get up out of here, Cody. man. But listen, man. This was another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Business Spotlight. The day we had the one, the only, Cody Brown. The youngest. The George. youngest, man. Making it happen. And it's just like yeah. Right. But listen, the craziest thing happened, right? <laughs> I was listen, 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 listen. The craziest thing happened. I was walking down the street, right? Somebody thought I was somebody else. <laughs> they thought you was somebody they was like, else. They go bike right there. I'm like, what the fuck with it? And I'm like, because it was like dark. Yeah. Man, I was, I might have ran. I ran to I passed <laughs> out. I ran, listen, I ran to I passed. Out. They were chasing you. I ran through bad yards, my leg got no. cut. You wasn't screaming, no. I ain't Mike? No, 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 I, no, 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 fuck that. I'm out. Fuck that, he talking about back in the day shit. Let's talk about some recent shit. <laughs> Good. Oh he know what you gonna say, look, he know what you're <laughs> <laughs> He know what you're doing, hey. Come on, leave that little nigga, no, you gotta tell him, man. Leave that little nigga. No, 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 I mean, listen, Gil, he ain't screaming. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I called Gil. I called Gil one day, right? And listen, this shit, though, this shit was the craziest shit ever. But we're going to leave it alone. We're going to tell you all after this. Okay. We, all right. we got to. All right. Well, we got to. For privacy reasons, we're going to tell you all after this. This all shit all right. funny. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I could share this with the people. No, we're not going to share that. That shit can just cut it out. No, we're not sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so so what happened was, yeah, she thought you wasn't going to be, and you wound up doing your thing. You came into the game. Was it ever a time when you felt like you wasn't accepted by the comedy game because you was on Instagram? You know, a lot of times Instagram dudes was getting like, man, that shit ain't real. They ain't in the way. Man, you know what? I just kind of like started feeling like I'll be getting a little bit of respect. You know, for what I'm doing. I mean, it's been years, you know, that, that's been going by where I kind of, you know, I kind of just felt like like I just would get overlooked. Like, no matter, like, I'm putting up the same type of numbers as X, Y, and Z, but it's like I'm still getting, you know, overlooked. I'm selling the same amount of tickets as X, Y, and Z, but I'm still, you know, it's getting overlooked. And now it's like, you know, with this tour that we on with Epps and everybody else, it's like now I'm getting a chance to show them, like, oh, no, he the real deal. And I think the respect is coming with that, but I think it's just now like starting to happen though, honestly. Like it's just now people starting to reach out. And I think I always looked at it like, you know, it take one person to fuck with you before everybody else start to say, oh no, oh, we, we fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? You was one of the first to follow me. And then, you know, yeah, Dirk. He put me on with you. I because appreciate you got that. To stay. Bro. Dirk was the first you, major rapper. Like you going to somebody, you going to somebody, a chick crib, do you know that's one of the classic things you used to say at the door that dude said in jail on the phone? I want my family back. I want my family back. Dude, yo, that shit was the fuck. Like, dude, I used to hear dudes on the phone, dog, I'm coming home, I'm doing right. I ain't fucking with the niggas, I want my family back. Yeah. So for you to do to be on the street talking about you want your family back, and then you hate knowing the dude that's in the house, yeah. it's just wild. It's wild. So when I, and I fuck with that, but it take, you know, it, it take that, like, you know, Guys like me that's coming up and stuff like that, at the end of the day, we need y'all stamp. When y'all stamp that shit, that's what make everybody else. Like, B. Ray Davis was like really the first real vet comedians like to pull me in. We co headlined the show together a couple months ago where that it was just me and him, man. You know, that meant everything to me coming from somebody, D. Ray, one of the bigger comics coming from the city that I'm from. But it take a little while for niggas to be like, 
ah, right, y'all, we here to stay. It take a while to get that respect, and I feel like I'm just now getting it, but I've never complained about it. I never complain about it. I'm just gonna keep doing the work, and that shit gonna, you know, that shit gonna show for itself. You was a while ago, you got any movies coming up? I just did a, I did a little Tubi movie not too long ago. Tubi is yeah. a shit. Is a shit. I want to do a movie on that. I want to do my own. Well, what you just on do? That. I got a movie on it. I ain't see it. Oh, what? Love, brother. You, you love it? You will love it. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna check it out tonight. You will love it. See, I just want to say this, right? You know, being backstage with all y'all, you know, Mike and, and Duvall and. and Chico, Chico, BC, BC on fly. It was crazy. E Ray, and, you know, to hear how they spoke about you, yeah, when you wasn't around, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that said a lot. Yeah, you know, because at some point, you know, D Ray was here and he gave you props on the show. Yeah, you know they come out, you know what I mean? but um. Well, Duvall gave me a credit, you know what I mean? Mike gave me a credit. Um, he just did his thing, man. He just did yeah, it. Yeah. So that, you look just like him when you just yeah, did it. He just, 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 just did his thing, like man. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. so to see him, you know, accepting. Yeah. Like, because, you know, a lot of them dudes had to come up in comedy clubs, man. They had to. Yep. They, no, they went to a different grind. Yeah. For sure. So they. They not going just respect, respect you from the gate. Yeah. Because they like, man, this nigga blew up from his house, man. Yeah. Do his yeah. skits, man. Yeah. That ain't real comedy. Yeah. So you can't be but too upset because you trying to prove yourself in a field that they own. That they own, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing skits and doing stand-up comedy. It's two different, two different animals. Way different thing. You can sit home, you can fuck up, do the skit 11,000 times. When you get on that you stage in front of them people, you cannot fuck, ain't no fucking up. Ain't no fucking And up. if you fuck up, you gotta be able to bounce back. Bounce if they back don't even know you, you fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So now you in that field and you doing that and you getting respected by some of the, the, the greats out here, some of the, so what you're doing is working. Yeah, yeah. And I think, like I said, like the, the mic, we kicked off the tour in, um, in Minneapolis. This true, this real shit. The way that they had the lineup set up, I would go, I was going first, and then I was bringing up Mike. And the first show was Minneapolis. I did 15 minutes, opened up the show, and I brought up Mike. When I came off the stage, Mike came and grabbed me. I think he brought Chico up. He was like, hey, you a part of the show. You, We can find somebody else to, to go up there before me. He's like, you need to be in the show. You too funny to be in that spot. Look, and that was me. That's the ultimate respect to have from somebody that's that's been in the timeless movies, got some of the best Netflix specials that's, that's up on Netflix, just somebody that's been doing a long time to come to you and say, hey, no, nah, you need to be in the show. We don't even, you don't need to be in that spot. Yeah. We need people to see you. We need this to be a part of the show. And from that moment on, like, you know, the, the next show, the lineup was changed. And it's now it's like he a part of the show. And the biggest thing about that, like I said, is, is that Mike is somebody I was watching on TV as a kid. Yeah. If somebody would have told me 20, 30 years ago, like, hey, one day, he gonna be introducing you to the stage. I was told him they was a fucking lie. So it, it's dope, and I understand that the grind that they went through. And my thing of it is always this: when they talk about social media and the stage and shit like that, I think a lot of people ignore the fact that comedy, just like everything else in this world, evolved. Yes. And it has evolved to that. To that, this is a different brand of comedy that can be done, and. You don't got to bounce from comedy club to comedy club to comedy club. Now, I think the issue with that is, is that true stand-up comedians that's out there aren't getting the, the ability to shine because they can't do both. Because there's some niggas that's cold on the stage, but they can't figure this shit out for nothing in the world. Yeah, I know some of the funniest niggas in the world right now can't figure this out. They cannot figure out what they niche is or what type of content to do. They can't be funny here. Even though you can do this shit over and over again, they can't do it here. But they cold on stage. So I think it's a matter of, it's not who can start here and transition to there. It's about 
who's already good on there that can get here to make them a household name where that they can sell tickets. It's niggas right now that's funny as fuck that's, that's probably never gonna figure this out and they gonna go on to be openers and features when they really headliners. But that's the name of the game now. They want people yeah. who can sell tickets, who gonna put ass in the social, seats, social. who got that social shit and it's important. So regardless of how people look at it, I've been doing this 10 years, a lot of people don't even know. People think I just came out. I used to do an old head character years ago named Mr. James, fan to get pussy. I used to do a lot of different <laughs> shit, to, you know, to figure it out. I went through a lot of different things to figure it out. And now it's like, it didn't click to me. I understand what the internet is and I understand what comedy is. I understand what people think is funny. And it's all about being relatable. The biggest thing y'all both said to me is, man, we can relate to that shit. If you can relate to it, and relate to it don't mean that it just happened to you. It happened to somebody you know. You know what I'm saying? You've seen it happen. When you can take that shit and make it funny, you can't lose. And that's just how I always looked at it. I think comedy has evolved, and I respect everything that Mike and, and Kevin Hart and, and, and Dave Chappelle, all those guys, I respect everything that they did. Jumping from comedy club. Mike, listen to me. Mike told me, man, you need to go to New York and you just need to go to all the comedy clubs and just perform. Somebody gonna see you. And I told him, I'm like, man, Mike, that ain't how it really work no more. Niggas is not seeing you in a crowd and like, hey, we finna put this nigga in a movie. That ain't how it's happening. Niggas is going in your profile, looking at what you're doing on there. This nigga would be good for a movie. So you don't gotta do yeah. the footwork, but it still works. They gotta be doing this niggas I know right now was hot five years ago. They ain't doing shit no more because they couldn't keep they couldn't keep creating, they couldn't keep coming up with shit. So you on your way, what you gonna do when you get that meat? When I get it? Uh I wanna I'm about my mama house. Oh, so you just gonna go when you get the meat, you just gonna just say fuck it or what it? When I get the what? The meat. Okay, let's let's rewind. <laughs> they talking about the meat and meat. <laughs> So, I, I'm like, no, I thought he said when you get, no, you get you the get, millions. You get, no, you get the, you get, you get okay, I'll clarify that. I thought he said when you get the millions. See, Gilly be talking with his teeth closed oh, sometimes. No, Y'all gotta about, watch we this talk about, We man. talking about when they come, you get the visitors. When they come visit you. When they come and visit me and yeah. say what? Like, you ready? You wanna be in? Listen to me, I'm not, I ain't sucking no dick. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I'm playing saying, none of them crazy ass games. I'm just, yes, games and I'm just saying, it might, you know, I'm just saying, you ain't saying you gotta do all that, but you might get a visit and they might say favor for a favor. You ready? I'm not, I, what, what type of favors we talking about? Y'all wanna repost? You want me to come to your door to school and say hi to the kids? Like, what you wanna do? Like, you know that, like, you know what I mean? A little this, a little that, but they, they might give you a visit. You will buy, you see, you will buy your mama a house. You already was with it. You already. I'm buying my mama a house regardless. No, but you was just saying, fuck who come visit. He said, what me? Hey, hey, yeah, long as they will fuck who come visit. My mama getting the house regardless. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's gonna happen regardless. I don't know about the visitors or whatever that y'all talk about, but it ain't. They got a scheduled appointment to make them type of business with me. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not jeopardizing or compromising my integrity or who I am for nothing nobody got to offer me. Whatever is supposed to be for me is going to be for me. And I'm going to do the necessary work to get that. I don't need no favors. Ain't nobody gave me no motherfucking favors at this point. Sure. Nobody came and said, hey, we're going to take you under our wing. Nobody did none of that shit. Last night. They called me, they said, hey, do you know somebody in Philly? We can have go up and do a couple minutes. I said, man, my guy Southside Jew out there. Let me call him and see what he got going on. I called Jew. I don't, I don't want nothing from him. Yeah, nothing in return, bro. I just want to be a blessed. I've been able, I've been blessed to be able to be a blessed. I didn't have nobody to call me and say, hey, Mojo, you want to pull up and do five minutes tonight? I didn't have that. But I'm okay with that because I'm going to respect this journey for what it is. I'm going to respect every year that it took me to get to wherever I'm going. I'm gonna respect that. I ain't trying to cut no corners or nothing. But now, if my fuck come with a favor, like they want me to come talk at a graduation or some shit, like you know, something positive for the community, I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah, what you tell me? But I'm not. Y'all yeah, want some bullshit? No, we just asking. You just asking, man. I just want. So, Gil, yeah, what did you say when the visitors came out? They never you? came for me. They didn't go. I went to low. They went to low. Yeah. And what low say? I told him get in there. <laughs> what? I don't <laughs> get in there. He lied. You had to fuck with Ricky Minaj, man, he to lied. get in there. He lied. They came home that you love. 
I mean, but two is true. So how you know who they? So how do you know who they want? Who they don't want? Man, it's just bullshit. I know y'all is. I know y'all is. Leave me alone. I ain't bothering no. I ain't bothering nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't bothering nobody. So, so how you know outside? You see, you loving the Philly. You love I love Philly, bro. This one, of, like this, this is my third time. Seven. This dick from the back, yeah. yeah. Mate, we ain't listen to me. <laughs> yep, see, I almost yep. said something. My dick from the back made my asshole clap. <laughs> <laughs> He fucking you up. Hey, hey, hey! Get away from here, too. Hey, hey, you you call him Remy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> nope, got that jacket on Remy Butler. <laughs> yeah, we got that jacket with 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 with, 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 with Jimmy played for the Bulls, man. We so, miss you, Jimmy. Come on back. We miss you, Remy. <laughs> we miss you. No, nah, but uh, no, nah, I love it. This is this is, this one of them cities like my very first. What's your family. favorite city though? Out of all these cities, my I can't answer that. Yes, you can. It's one of them cities that. You really Philly now, she, 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 ate, she ate him out last night. Uh, <laughs> that's a wild. Ate me out, it's crazy. That's a wild. He ain't denying it, look at him. Yeah, my Gucci ate that. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy, man. He's a Gucci got warrior. My Gucci, got my Gucci ate last night. Listen to me, they only know about this because they be doing it too. <laughs> no, he's a Gucci <laughs> warrior. Gil. They said you the original Gucci man. No, Gil, you started this shit. <laughs> You went out. You went on that interview and said it's okay for us to get our Gucci. Uh, he, he he get his he Gucci. Did, he did say that. He did say that. But, but he get his he Gucci. Out it's the difference. Out here, nigga. You would let a girl eat your ass? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what he said? No, I'm not a person. Hey, hey, this nigga lied, man. Gucci be treat me. Well up. That nigga lie. You heard what he said? Don't cheat me, treat me. Well up. Keep it real. That nigga crazy, man. Keep it real, though. What city y'all going to? No, 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 no. No, no, fuck that. We ain't moving on. I done answered all these questions. We ain't moving on. Love. I don't know what you're talking about. Love. Love. The same way you Now, you done already confirmed that you would. Your answer already let us know. Now, what's your what's your position? No, oh, he get on his knees. What's your position? Yeah, I don't even know what y'all talking about. Nah, you ain't tooting your ass. Yo, y'all you tripping, man. Low. Y'all tripping, man. Ain't Low. Low. I don't know what you're telling me. Let me brother. show you, bro. Listen, this is all you do. You lay oh, down. <laughs> he be getting <laughs> Groceries here. <laughs> he's he groceries. This dude out of pocket, man. Hey, Low. Low. You ain't asking Low. questions, but I'm, I'm just dissing. You raise that motherfucker up. That motherfucker get a salad toss. He get a salad toss. You raise that motherfucker up. Cuz, give him a bunch of that, cuz. Hey, you get raise it up a little bit. That's it. Don't be bending over this shit, man. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Cuz when you do it like that, you really want her to get in there. You don't want that. You just want her to rim it a little bit. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Ooh, get everything. Get everything. <laughs> well, uh, What's this? Hey, this nigga lying. Zoom in on this nigga face. Oh, this nigga get, he got the, I get my ass a face <laughs> off of right now. <laughs> that nigga lying, man. Hey. Hey, everything. It's cool, bro. You ain't gonna admit to the camera, though. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Shooby dooby. This is what it look like. You know what his favorite song is? Hmm. Well, some real shit. That you you gonna know I'm not lying because my production people that's filming is about to laugh. Let me Watch this. Down. She ate my ass and I like it. <laughs> 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 you like it? You like it? You like Y'all laughing, not the camera. Yes or no? They laughing. They laughing. They laughing. As soon as we get in the truck, all the way to the airport, you be, it felt so good. It felt so wrong. It felt so right. I don't know where this comes from, man. Wallo, all right. She ate my ass and I like this. Wallo, do you ask for it? Well, like, he the man. Well, uh, he the man. I don't know what he's saying. Get everything. Listen, that, that's that's when he start the crazy shit talking. Yeah. Oh, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what I do to deserve this? Oh my God. You my girl now. Oh, I love you. Oh, 
Lalo. He lied to me. Hey, okay. Gilly, I'm gonna tell you what's happening to him when he's doing this shit. He eat that motherfucker and hit him with one knee at the same time. Oh God. Look at his face, look at him. What did I do to deserve this? Look at him. 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 Damn, Lo. We Nigga, say, yo, yo, let me just say, it ain't gotta be true, but he just said, Oh, you get out of the hot to the world. Oh, you get out of the hot to the world. Ooh. I'm glad you brought a minivan. What? No, 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 no. That no, no, no. Nobody no. brought a minivan. No, Nobody. You, listen, you, if we, you on the same floor as this nigga, you'll walk past this nigga, won't hear hollering, you'll hear him say anything. Oh, I don't like you ride no cloth seats. <laughs> Oh, you ride no leather from your house. <laughs> Ooh. What would I do to deserve this? No. That's his joint. What Love. would I do to deserve this? So you ain't answer my question. Do you do you ask for it? Or yes. You, or if they do it, you just kind of give them a sign like, go on, do your thing. No, he say lower. <laughs> All kinds of shit. This guy lying on me, man. This is just. So then answer for yourself. That's why I'm not feeding it to him. So you're just not going to answer the question? No, I said this a lie. I don't know what you're talking What's about. It's a lie. So, so no, about? it's never happened to you. I don't know what he's talking about, man. He lying. Okay, well, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what neither one of y'all talking about. That shit crazy. I'm yeah. chilling, man. He pleading the field. I ain't pleading nothing. So just say, no, it never happened then. I ain't. Because you happened. know she watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, you don't want to get in the comments like, come on that tutu, don't do that. What? Don't, don't do that. What? Tutu. <laughs> Boy, that nigga called you tutu. Tutu, crazy, man. Crazy, man. <laughs> Damn, man, that's crazy, man. Because he said it, you asked him. I say, what position? You say the nigga, yeah, he turned around. Yeah, he, oh, you behind this? He, 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 he one thing about What's next, though, man? What's going on there? Man, so. Uh, well, we talked about last night, bro. I've been texting my manager the last couple of days. We talking about shooting a, a, a hour special. Yeah, that's all you need, bro. Yeah, that's time. I'm ready. Like, uh, I got the time. I, I got the material. I want to wrap up. I want to do it later this year. I want to wrap up this tour, and then after that, immediately jump back into the comedy clubs and start working on new material. All right. So, so how often do you write new material? How long do it take you to make a whole set? I got two hours right now worth of material. Where even on this tour, every night my set has been different. Without like, you know, maybe my bigger, my bigger jokes, I've done them every night. But like some of my best shit, I can't even do because of how much time we, you know, how much time we all got, you know, allocated to us because there's so many people on the on the show. But um, the goal is, I want to try to shoot it in October. So from this tour ends in May. So from May to September when I go back into the comedy clubs, it's gonna be all new material. So some stuff like now, you know, my life is evolving, things are changing, like I'm going to different levels, my daughter's getting older. So I'm writing about that, I'm writing about just the different stuff that, you know, that I'm going through, shit that I'm seeing out on the road. So uh, a lot of my technique is, is just getting on the stage. So I write out these ideas and stuff that I wanna talk about. When I get on stage and start talking, and then I just riffed. I start, you know, I know what a joke is supposed to sound like. I know how to set one up. I got a mixed style of, of storytelling along with, you know, some some nice one-liners. But the the plan is to to write out everything that I want to talk about in my next hour and then get on stage and just start piecing it out piece by piece. And then I do a lot of crowd work that I end up pulling, pulling like I'll record it, oh, I like this. Like last night, I, I I wrote this joke about girls who, who who squirt, and the joke wasn't finished. I finally finished the joke when I was in Rochester a couple of days ago. I'm like, uh, half you hoes don't even drink water. This bitch spit a kitten. This bitch sprayed a, a kidney stone in my mouth the other night. <laughs> I'm laying out like this. What's this crunchy shit you got in my mouth? But when I did the shit last night, the roof went off that bitch. And you just need like I don't know. When, when comedy, when they think you're gonna go right, you gotta go left. It's always the misdirection that, that that really, you know what I'm saying, that that really like, you know, they hit their ass right in their stomach. So that's the plan. I wanna I wanna shoot my hour special. I wanna start doing some movies. Um, some you know, some some bigger movies, some commercials. Um, and just, you know, continue to, you know, to build my brand. I just hit a million. I hit one point one million on TikTok. I'm coming up on Instagram. Yeah. I'm over that on Facebook. So just continuing to grow and then at some point I wanna go into my own theaters. 
which we we call transition to like at the end of the year. 1,500, 2,000 seat theaters. That's good. Do my own theater tour, yeah. So. You could do that easy. Yeah. So I want to start with the new material. Like, I want to start writing new material. And I've been doing it slowly by slowly. But once this tour is over, then, like, I really want to dig in that. I think the number one thing that happens to comedians is we get comfortable. Yes. We get comfortable. But, that, but it's not comedians. That's, that's rappers. Rappers, yeah. Basketball players. You know, it, it's like. Some of the hardest shit is to do is to get money. Yeah. And uh, be successful and still keep the same hunger as when you was broke. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I respect this nigga so much. Yeah. Is because through his journey, you've seen him get up every day at four in the morning, five in the morning, coming down your timeline. That nigga Lamborghini, Ferrari, made back, go fucking Denali truck. Benz truck, 63 Benz, too many Benz, successful clothing line, successful podcast. The most thing, the most thing that's important uh, is that well, main, main main main. Culture advisor at YouTube. Why is that? Because the he's still man, coming down your time line. Man, five of I the can morning. sleep in that joint no matter what happened. I just slept in that joint. In the minivan. Just as occasionally, I just go in there and just take a nap. Got the blanket of anything in that joint. Just in case. So just to remind myself. This is what is this is what the ground is came from. Yeah. So I love that minivan. So they got the bed in the back and No, side. no, it's just regular put the seats, you know, the fold seats folded in the ground. Yeah. And I just lay in there. You know, for a floor. minute. Yeah. For a minute he used to fuck all his business in minivan. We used to call him Uber Freaks. <laughs> and he had a way to take them. Is that true? Well he was at Nanny he was living when he first came home, he was living in Nanny Middle Road. I had this I had this spot I would go to and uh under the street on Second Street down there in uh, Northern Liberties, and the tree would hang over the jaw, so it'd be pitch black. And I had my little light tinted there. I'd be in there. I go working a bitch. I out. throw YouTube on. Old van shit. Probably put the best of shot there. Old van shit. And listen, I remember one time me and the girl went to sleep in the joint. Yeah. Woke up. I had to. Uh, That's how you knew he was fucking some loser bitches when he first bro, came. Bro, let him let him hit Bitch lead up in the mini. Bitch lead up in the minivan like, like this under the tree. I was hitting him in the car, but nigga, we talking about. Bro, I was hitting holes in the car, front seat, back seat. Yeah, but the bitch ain't lay up in the car. The minivan going to sleep. We gonna take a nap afterwards. Sleep. It was nice. Cause I had to blend. Listen, I had, nice. I had two blankets. I had one to lay down on the floor. Nice. Right? I had one to lay down on the floor, and I would put the two big pillows. Cause, it, cause when I drive around and I have them in the back bag. I put the two big pillows on the back of the, with the door, you know, the back of the hatchback. I put it right there. We just lay there and chill. I have my little stand. I have my little, I have my little phone stand right there. We be watching a little Netflix. Listen, there. they laying on the back block under the tree in the mini. No, there was no back block. There was no over there. That's a nice <laughs> okay. area. For I don't me. give a fuck. It's still a back block. All Philly is back blocks. So you have Northern Liberties. You like this laid up in the minivan with a bitch. She was a loser. No, I had some classic chicks. Hitting them in the van? Yeah, you be smelling. No, let me ask you no, this no, though. No, was this before? No, no, no. At this time, was you getting your ass ate at that time? Or no, I never did. No, he wasn't introduced. He wasn't introduced. in the van? Let oh, me just say so. <laughs> let me just say so. Let me just say so. The chick wasn't a loser because she got fucked in the minivan. You can fuck you. You can fuck somebody in the car, and you might just be like, "Cool, baby, let's get let's it right there." Right, yeah. All right, bet. But the fact that she laid in the back of the sleep, minute, man. Yeah, that was the on problem. On a back block. That was the problem. In one of the most dangerous cities in the world. And watch YouTube with you. She's a loser. Oh, Netflix, actually. Yeah. Uh, no matter what it was, though. He I, had, I, I had that Netflix account. Couldn't tell me nothing. The minivan. Couldn't tell me nothing. With the pillows and shit. Y'all just laid out. Yeah, that's First of all, you know a motherfucker loser if they got pillows in the minivan. Motherfucker ain't never, police ain't never come back on no, the road. Let me tell you what happened. So, I used to always drive around. I be driving New York, but y'all be driving all type of places. And one of the most places that I slept at the most on my journey was at rest stops on the highway. Mm -hmm. So I know I be pulling over because if I get tired, I pull over, go in there, give me a little meal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give me some grub, give my little, get my little commissary, little setup, put it in there. Now. So now I'm cool. Commissary. So Pete, so Pete, so Pete, this is the joint. Commissary in the street. So, and you said that was the yeah. most comfortable yeah. job. But you know, and it's so uh, the, the, the funny thing, I, I skipped over that part, but the shit is really inspirational. Like the man really talking about he was pulling up to the truck stop, getting him some grub. It don't be shit to eat up the truck stop for real. 
No, it's not truck stops. It's a rest. It's a rest stop. Maybe having like different restaurants in there. Oh, on the inside, I like the motherfucker. Yeah, the real oh, joke. I'm the regular joke. Yeah. You see that? I get my gas. You see what I'm saying? This when I was getting the cheapest gas. I get the filling up, buddy. Get do a little two three dollar tip. You get eighty seven. Yeah, two three dollar right. tip, man. Hey, man, I take care of you. And I pull over, park it. You see what I'm saying? I chill for a while, and then I say, okay, so I have my whole tour laid back. I go right back there, throw my Netflix on, I watch YouTube, and go to sleep. Wake so you, up. What you saying is every day they that truck driving what you was doing. Same thing. They just had, they got a bed and they shit. Mine's had a bed, because I, I ride around with the seats down, so. No, that's not a bed, though. No. But you made a pallet, is what we can, can we call it a pallet? No, if I got a blanket laid down on the floor. That's a pallet, that's not a bed. I got a blanket, and then I got another blanket that I that put over. Nigga, that's just double blanket. Bro, that was some of the greatest sleep I had. I, I understand mean, that, but we're not going to let you say you had a bed. That was a blanket. That was a pallet. We can all agree that that was a pallet. I was thinking about getting the what's name, but I said that would be overboard. If I'd have got the air mattress, I'd have really been off the hook. I'd have been, it'd have been crazy. So How you was going to blow that air mattress up? You going to blow it up before you put it in there? No, you can use a machine. You fucking a bitch on the air mattress in the back of a minivan. That's crazy. Put all the seats up. No. He the war ass out too, right there. Old minivan shaking. I don't know air matches. Oh yeah. I love the minivans. You got two of them for no reason. You just got two minivans. Yeah. Minivans is everything, bro. Well, like, listen, man. This was another episode of Me and Dollars Worth of Game. We got the Rimmer Brothers right here. <laughs> the Rimmer Brothers. We got Mojo hold Rimmer. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. We got Mojo. We yeah. got Mojo Rimmer. We got Gucci Warrior. Uh, Gucci uh, right, the Gucci Man. Uh, uh, I'm Gucci Man with y'all, but that's, that's motherfucker that went lower. That's Rim Carry. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker that went lower on you. No, no, it didn't. Shit, we better stay close to nuts. <laughs> stay yeah. close to them nuts. This is you tell about. Let's don't believe you, y'all. That, that's don't believe. Remy Butler. Don't believe him. And that's Rim Brown. Two legends right there. I never said that it happened to me. No, you did. You told you told nigga what I just did. said if a nigga gonna be doing that, this probably be the position. No, no, you gave instructions yeah, from a yeah. point Are you gonna follow them? Nope. No, you no, gonna keep he, 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 he gonna keep it. No, his model if your legs ain't in the air like a boring like a foreign, she born. So they call you Lamborghini. Lamborghini <laughs> <laughs> lady. <laughs> He said, fuck you think I got your leg on for? Lamborghini leg? Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> it is just like that, right?